Uh, the first tranche of the COCO syndication loan has been received by the Bank of Ghana. Joy Business understands that about $650 million hit the Treasury account yesterday for onward transfer to COCO Board. But how will this impact on the city and the broader economy? George Yaffe has more. The $650 million is part of the total $1.3 billion that was signed with 24 international banks in September this year. The funds are expected to help Cocobot pay farmers that have made available beans to the licensed buying companies. Therefore, the immediate impact will be making available to Cocobot the needed liquidity to pay these farmers. However, there are other seated benefits with this inflow. Since this money will first hit the Bank of Ghana's foreign account, it will go a long way to boost its reserves, a development that could send signals to investors and traders that the Bank of Ghana is in a strong position to support the Ghana city when the need arises. This will now increase the Bank of Ghana's total international reserves to a little over $9 billion and in October this year. The governor of the Bank of Ghana, Dr. Ernest Addison, recently noted that they are planning to increase their reserves by $1 billion before the end of this year for some an indication of building reserves to possibly withstand perennial first quarter pressure on the local currency. The Ghana city has witnessed some pressure over the past few days on the interbank market. The syndicated loan coming in will also help the local cocoa economy in terms of funds being made available to these farmers to help them meet their basic needs and even support their entire dependence as well as help in cocoa production at the local level. And we've got a full bulletin of business news at the top of the hour. Sports is up next.